what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel and we have installed another MIUI 12 build on our redmi note 8 the rom name is minse rom which has some great customization features which you don't might get in other custom rooms based on MIUI 12 MIUI pro has some great features and some other rooms also have some great features but this room also has some nice features which i'm gonna share with you in this video this MI NSC ROM is a ported ROM for Redmi Note 8 and if you are using a Redmi Note 7 this ROM is officially available for you if you are using any other device you can use the GSI of course make sure to watch this video till the end to understand everything I'm gonna share with you a lot of things regarding this custom ROM which I have installed as a ported ROM on my Redmi Note 8 now let's get started okay so guys first of all we're gonna start out with the home screen and the smoothness if you talk about the control center as you can see it's super duper smooth if you talk about this this is super duper fast and this is one of the smoothest ever build available for redmi note 8 but mi nse rom is seriously super smooth if you're using redmi note 7 then this room is very much beautiful for you you should try out this room this room for sure if you talk about the super wallpapers it has the super wallpapers pre-installed let me just tell you and this is how super wallpaper and one of the best thing is super wallpapers are officially not supported for redmi note 8 and if you're using super wallpapers on any other of miui 12 base room on your device you might get lags here but fortunately there are no lags at all as you can see it's super fast and this is actually the super wallpaper which is applied here when you go to the home screen let me just go here go to the more tab and this is the home screen and we have some customization options when you go to home screen you have the option of choosing the classic option or with app drawer i'm using with app drawer which is working very much fine you can customize your background here by default it will be at system you can choose the dark or light from here you can choose the scroll bar place new apps on the home screen and these kind of things are very beautiful things at all you also have some things like number of columns in a folder which you can customize you can customize the home screen layout which has a lot of things you can choose up to 7 into 8 as a home screen layout by default it, it will be at 4 by 6 so it all depends upon you it is a just beautiful custom room with lot of customization options you can customize your minus one screen also Appboard or google discover you should try out this build for sure now let's move on to some okay so as i already told you about the home screen customization and home screen smoothness control center smoothness now let's move on to the camera we have this kind of camera the stock anx camera which has some great features which include the video mode pro mode 48 megapixel cam here and 48 megapixel is perfectly fine maybe yes it is perfectly fine you can use that video mode has some little bit of bug let me just tell you if you record videos and just pause them and yeah, as you can see it's in green so this might be the bug for you this is the bug which i already listed in the description also and also here in the, my video so just no complaints here you can choose the ultra wide angle also that should work definitely that's everything else is just fine just the video recording bug in my case but you can use the g cam if you want to so might be there will be no bug but i'm not sure if you want to use if you move on to the settings we have the correct distortion in ultra wide shots these kind of features here you can choose the picture quality to high standard or low you can capture selected objects when stationary and these kind of things you also have the customize option where you can customize the camera modes if you like that i obviously personally choose more panel and this is just perfectly fine here let me tell you this is the mode panel and this works very very smooth and everything else is just fine here you should try out this build in the terms of smoothness and performance this is super duper fine if we talk about the theme store we have this chinese theme store as expected you can customize the themes you have the wallpapers option we have dynamic wallpapers ringtones option fonts to customize and at last icons to customize these kind of things you get in the theme store and you can choose anything from here and when you go to my account and go to theme store you can apply any third party theme also as i tried to apply this ios from rev os and it was applying su successfully without having any issues so if you want to choose third party themes just go to import section go to file manager select your theme file 
I have a lot of themes available and I already made a video on a lot of themes till now you can go and check it out all those things click here click on ok the theme will be imported successfully like this and this will work great this is kind of a great thing now let's move on to some other things if you move on to settings first of all we will take a look at the about phone this is MIUI version MIUI 12 2.2 by MINSE and what you get here is first of all the August latest August security patch with Android version 10 as expected it's based on MIUI 12 latest China beta which is Xiaomi EU 20.7.3 20.7.30 and it's based on Xiaomi EU not exactly on China beta but Xiaomi EU is based on China beta so technically you can say it's based on China beta SIM cards and mobile networks WLA and Bluetooth connection and sharing has the same things nothing else is here you also get the always on display feature available but unfortunately that is not working but yes let me note it does not support the always on display so it's better if it's not working you should not use it also sleep options smart cover mode wallpaper carousel and pocket mode these kind of things are already available in all other MIUI based rooms and in this room also and when you go to shake gestures we have these two gestures available we got the clearing ram feature and the lock screen feature you get just have to shake your device and then if you enable the clearing ram option your ram will be cleared just by shaking or you can lock your screen just by shaking this is kind of great thing and these gestures are perfectly fine here that's kind of great thing moving on to some other things we have display section where you have the brightness level reading mode as expected and some other things which has the use mi lan pro fonts if you want to choose the latest mi lan pro fonts from china rome you can choose these just enable the option and you also have the option of choosing the text size and font weight and these are very useful features and if you move on to control center and status bar you can use the new control center as I have already applied that and here you have some little bit of customization options which includes the colored application icons, show connection speed and you can also choose the network speed interval. This is by default maybe at 4000 something you can choose it to whatever speed you want to choose how much time it will take to update network speed on your status bar. This is what this thing is and this is very very cool thing and very useful thing for some of the guys. Hide graphical indicator, hide notch option and here you also have switches option in one line how many switches you want and if the control center is turned off. As you can see it already written there when the control center is turned off this thing will only work and nothing else if you if you are using control center this thing will not work for you as it was expected also some other things are also there which are not understandable actually show weather network type and status bar and some other things these kind of things actually I don't know about these things these are in some other languages so if you can understand this language it's quite great this is kind of great thing you can choose the animation of screen choice of the animation there are a lot of animations options are available and this is kind of great thing you can choose these animation if you want to but in my case I just want to turn off because it has some customization options but these will drain battery also so if you care about your battery just don't use these kind of things sound and vibration notifications are just same things home screen reasons I have already shown you if you move on to the wallpaper you have the super wallpaper options available this is kind of great thing you can choose the home option or you can choose the red planet option whichever super wallpaper you love to choose you can choose that super wallpaper and these super wallpapers work just fine i'm using and as you can see no lags at all if you talk about the other things with the face lock fingerprint password and this is kind of great thing fingerprint unlocked without pattern after reboot for some guys it's a great feature for some guys it's a security flaw in other words like if you reboot your device you can still unlock your device with your fingerprint without using your pattern so in some cases it's good in some cases it's not screen time special features i have already shown you these were all the things i just want to share with you the latest mi nsa v 2.2 available for some devices i'll provide a link for all the supported devices in the description it is a ported room for Redmi Note 8 so ported room link is also in the description and if you are using any other device which does not support this build you can use the GSI of course. This was all thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe goodbye have a nice day.